The Center for Whale Research in Friday Harbor has released new video that shows how killer whales use kelp, and the discovery was completely by accident. And I think that's when I first noticed that little brown, a little brown stick of some kind that just like sort of happened to be between them. And we were like, oh, that's weird. The brown stick is a piece of bull kelp stalk purposely broken off into a piece about 60 centimeters long. They're then carrying that in their mouths um, to a social partner, flipping it up onto their nose, onto their rostrum, and pressing it against the side of their partner. Once it's between them, they kind of uh, move in tandem to roll this kelp along their bodies back and forth. Researchers aren't entirely sure why the whales are doing this, but one hypothesis is that it's for hygienic reasons. So we found that whales with greater coverage of dead skin were more likely to do this behavior. So we think it might be related to removing this sloughing skin or potentially treating discomfort related to it. Or it could be related to social bonds. Like grooming in primates where they pick, you know, parasites off of each other. In terms of why they actually, you know, in the moment, why they choose to do it, my guess is that it feels really nice. And is it only the southern residents that are doing this? So far in our observations, we've only seen the southern residents doing this. We do also conduct drone observations of Biggs killer whales, of the, the transients. We don't know of any reports of killer whales around the world doing this. You know, uh, we, we don't know of any reports of northern residents or Alaskan residents doing this behavior. Weiss says it's an exciting discovery and in a world full of different killer whale groups, it re-emphasizes how important the 73 remaining southern resident killer whales really are. I think this is just another example of uh, the fact that these whales are not just 73 individual killer whales. This is a culture, this is a society, and a set of traditions. Um, so if we lose those whales, we don't just lose those individual whales, we lose that entire suite of behaviors and that set of traditions that goes back generations.